Hope family, and welcome again uh, to another uh, midweek worship service uh, where we just spend a little time together with the Lord as we celebrate uh, this wonderful life we have in community. Uh, we have entered into the great and glorious season of Advent uh, where we are so excited uh, just to be remembering and uh, journeying through the story of Jesus's coming into this world uh, as a child in a manger in Bethlehem. And so uh, I just want to encourage you during this season uh, to continue to take time to remember uh, and to make space uh, for the child uh, in your life, especially during the busy season uh, we find ourselves in. This morning, uh, we're going to turn to the Gospel of Luke, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, that wonderful story. Uh, and this comes from Luke chapter 2, and it's uh, verses 8 through 20. And so let's hear what the Word of God has to say. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen which were just as they had been told. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much today uh, for your love, uh, for your guidance, uh, for your, uh, your love for us in sending Jesus into this world uh, just to, uh, to teach us how to live, to forgive us of our sins, and to let us know that we are not alone. We just ask, O oh God, that you would open our hearts and minds by the power of your Holy Spirit to hear all the messages uh, that Christmas speaks to each and every one of us. For we thank you and we praise you in the Lord's name. Amen. So, of course, being uh, more than just that uh, wonderful moment in the Charlie Brown Christmas special, uh, wherein uh, I believe it was Linus uh, who gets up and recites this beautiful piece uh, of scripture. This passage actually uh, it gives us a perspective that's a little bit different uh, from that of the perspective that we normally see uh, during Christmas. We, we often do uh, spend a lot of time with Mary and Joseph and with their experience of the Christ child and, and their experience of their son coming into the world. But it's important for us to focus sometimes on the other characters, uh, because there's a lot of rich lessons to be taught to us uh, by way of some of these other uh, people who experienced the coming of the Christ child. And so uh, we, we look to our friends, the shepherds uh, and the angels today, uh, as we look at some of the ways that God teaches us uh, the Christmas story. The first is that the angels uh, come to tell the shepherds about this baby king who's been born in, in Bethlehem, and, and immediately the shepherds, uh, they, they want to go and see this thing that has happened. That's what they say to one another. Let us go and see this thing that has happened. And so the, the message of what, what that teaches us is that the message of Christmas is something that needs to be investigated. This is what the, 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 the shepherds teach us, that we need to investigate the story of Christmas, to see for ourselves what has happened. Now, if uh, the, the angels had showed up talking about 
uh, the Messiah, people uh, would get that. But these were, these were simple shepherds uh, talking about things only scholars would have known back in their time. Um, so, uh, it, it, again, what we learn is that the story of Christmas is not just for pastors and preachers and teachers and you know, other theological scholars. The story of Christmas is for every person. That's what the angel bringing that message to the shepherds meant, is that the message of Christmas is for all people. The shepherds were certainly among the lowliest of people in Jewish society. And so that the angels choose to bring the message to them shows that God loves each and every person regardless of their status or standing in the world and wants them to come and see uh, the, the Christ child and to understand how he impacts us. So it's important for us to get to know uh, the baby in the manger. Uh, we should be people that, that do seek out what Christmas means for us. How does the birth of Christ uh, mean anything to us in our own world? You know, for you, what does the coming of Jesus mean? Uh, how does this tiny child change the way that we interact with the world? What does Christmas mean to us in the context of of our life beyond uh, the walls of our homes and the walls of our own minds? How does the baby Jesus change how we are in relationship with one another? How does Christmas affect our relationships? Does it help to draw them closer together? Uh, or uh, do we find that in the stress of everything we are pulled apart? But the angels and the the shepherds, they both share the message of Christmas. To them, the message of Christmas is so vital that they drop everything and they go. The angels, uh, of course, they come uh, at the behest of God who has sent them uh, to the shepherds to share the message. Um, in that example, we have the, how necessary it is for us because we are now the ones who are the children of God that we are called to be sent to share the message of Christmas uh, with others. Uh, so we need to be those who are teaching Christmas, not just in uh, our words, sharing about how Jesus came into the world and how it's so necessary for us to understand why that Jesus came in order to take our sins so that we might be forgiven and have that beautiful relationship with God. But it's uh, important for us to share that message with others. More than that, it's important for us to guide others in the experience of Christmas. It's, it, it's so much more uh, than just teaching something out of a textbook. It's, it's so much more than just a message that we share uh, that comes out of a curriculum. The, the Christmas needs to be experienced as well as taught. And so it's important for us to help share the experience of Christmas with others. How does uh, the, the Christmas story uh, come in and through our lives? And how can we share that journey with others? One of the most inspiring things, of course, about the end of this passage is that both the angels and the shepherds go away giving glory and praise to God. And so it's more than just uh, uh, about teaching. It's more than just about learning. It's, it's also about experiencing the joy and hope that this season continues to offer. It's about giving praise to God and living with an attitude uh, toward uh, praise and an attitude that says, out of that praise, out of that worship, out of the glory of God in this moment, I'm going to share Jesus has come with others. And so that's my encouragement for you today, uh, that you would share the message of Christmas in who you are and in what you do. And so let's just uh, spend our time in this season uh, being the hands and feet and voice of Christ, talking about the peace and love that came in the midst of the darkest days, redeeming each and every one of us so that we can be in relationship with our Creator.
holy and gracious, loving Heavenly Father. We thank you today that you have been the light that has come into our darkness. As we grow closer to you in the celebration of this time, we ask that you would help us to shine the light of the Christmas story in everything that we do and say. Bless us now as we go from this place to be agents of hope and ambassadors of your love. For we give you thanks and praise you in the name of that beautiful Christ child, the name of Jesus. Amen.